Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Carl Wright. For those of you who don't know me, most of you know me. Uh, I'd like to welcome you here today for our press conference and a special uh, welcome to uh, the NBL commissioner who is with us today, and we're glad to have him. Dave Megley is with us today. Thank you for being here, Commissioner. Uh, the Mill Rats are getting ready to enter their sixth season here in St. John, and I would tell you we're looking for an exciting season. We're looking for a big turnout in crowds. We're looking for a big support from the community, and we're looking to put a, a big special project product on the court this year. Uh, today, we have some exciting announcements to make. That's why we invited you here today. So we're looking to uh, give you some really great news that you can take away and share with your friends. We have the media here, so it's going to be shared uh, by social media as well. And we'd like to welcome you again, welcome you here today. Uh, at this time, I'd like to welcome for our first announcement, our league, our, not our league, but our, our team president and general manager, Ian McCarthy, to the podium, please. Ian. Good afternoon. We are also very excited to have Coach Rob Spawn back here in St. John leading our team this season. We were the Atlantic Division champions 2013-14 when he was here last, and he hasn't lost a game since he left St. John. He went on to an undefeated season in Rochester last year and won the league championship down in the United States, and we're looking for nothing different here. Uh, it's no surprise that some of his former players that played for him in Rochester on undefeated team wanted to follow him north to St. John. You may have seen the announcements of uh, shooting guard Corey Allman as well as 6'8 power forward uh, Darren Moore. Our own 2013-14, our own Anthony Anderson won the NBL Canada's Most Valuable Player Award under Coach Bond. Today I'm extremely excited to announce the signing of two league MVPs to the Mill Rats for this season. Anthony Anderson and Gabe Freeman. Everyone of course here knows Double A. He's on the back of Harbor Station about 60 feet tall. He's on our bus. He's the all-time leader in scoring for the league of, of the NBL Canada League. He led the league in scoring the last two seasons. We are very grateful to have him back. Gabe Freeman is a 6'6 power forward with an unstoppable motor. He averaged 20 points and 12 rebounds per game for Coach Bond last year in Rochester and 19 and 12 for the London Lightning in 2011. He was named league MVP in 2011-12 and finals MVP in 2012, leading London to their first league championship. He has won championships in three different leagues, and I know Double A, and speaking to him, is really, really excited to have Gabe Freeman on our roster this year. He is a true warrior. This will be the first time in history that any team has had two MVPs on the roster at the same time. We're excited about other pieces that are being built alongside these guys. You may have seen the announcement about all-star guard Doug Herring returning to the roster. Uh, today in attendance, we have Denny McDonald, who's been announced. He's from Toronto, and Marlon Mason from Detroit. So let's give these guys a hand as well. <laughs> these young guys are very exciting, high flyers. They're going to be a great compliment to Anthony and Gabe as we put this amazing product on the floor. And with that being said, I would like to invo invite Coach Spawn to the podium to just give us a few words on what he expects out of, out of our season this year and these, these great signings we're announcing today. Coach Bond. Thank you, Ian. Building amazing now. That's what we're doing in St. John. I couldn't be more excited to have, you know, Denny and Marlon sign with us, but to have two MVPs, a lot of pressure on Coach Spawn now, have two MVPs on our team. And especially, you know, with these, these quality young men, not only are they great players on the court, but they're great players off the court. And that's what we want to do in St. John, bring here great players, but great quality young men that will be out in the community like we have been. So, but I'm so excited to be back here. Uh, bad taste in my mouth, you know, we won the, yeah, we won the Eastern Division Championship, but that doesn't mean anything, okay? That just got us in the 
you know, number one seed in the playoffs, and then we, uh, we lost to that Halifax, that team over there in Nova Scotia. Um, but I'm, I'm here to win a championship now. We're here. That's who we're here. And with Ian, Ian and I putting together this team, it's exciting. It's exciting. And, again, we have the best fans. You guys are the best fans. And, um, again, hopefully you guys will come fill Harbor Station up because we got a lot of excitement and we got unfinished business to tend to. But, it, again, it's going to be amazing now. We're building on it. And I, I can't wait. And I'm excited. And I hope more and more people come aboard and join on with us. So, again, I want to thank everybody that, that's here and uh, looking forward. I'm ready. I wish the season was starting tomorrow. I'm excited. I'm ready to go. Thank you. Yeah. Yep. Building amazing now. What a, great, what a great theme. And to add to that, we have a new slogan we're going to unveil. I would ask if uh, Demi and Marlon would come up come up in front of the podium here to unveil our new logo. And uh, our, to go with our new slogan, logo. or our new logo, rather, uh, <laughs> and on our, our slogan, Building Amazing Now, one, two, three, here's our new logo. As you can see, it's a great new logo, but it also it's great and clean looking, but it also is still connected to our original theme. Okay. Thank you, guys. So now I'll call Ian back to the podium, please. All right. Building amazing now. What it means is we're building an amazing team to win right now. We're building an amazing group of individuals to do amazing community work right now, to inspire our youth to follow the right path right now. We're going to bring a, an amazing product to Harbor Station that are going to showcase many amazing plays, as you know, right now. And we are also reflecting an undercurrent of optimism that is here in the city. Mayor Mel Norton and many of the other leaders in the city talk about St. John is an amazing place to live. We have amazing people here. And we've all heard that there are amazing projects coming to this region. And we want to be a part of building this greater region into a wonderful, successful place to be. As St. John climbs out of its economic slowdown in the past few years, we want to be a part of that. And we're not waiting. We're getting started right now. This awesome logo that you see here was designed by a new major media partner of ours, Arrowfoot Productions. Let's give them a hand for that. Their new office location is actually right around the corner here. Uh, they were a division of Atlantica uh, Studio for Design of Arts, which is now Atlantica College, and now Arrowfoot Productions handles all of the media and video production. So they're gonna take on the Mill Rats for graphic design, for video production, player intro videos, social media, uh, marketing consulting, game day entertainment. Basically their job is to make us pop, jazz, and look great. And we're excited to have such a partner who's dedicated to helping us do that. With that being said, I'd like to give Arrowfoot Principal Jim Cunnell, the podium, to say a few words about this new, exciting partnership. Thank you, Ian, uh, Carl, coach. Um, the entire Aerofoot team is extremely excited to be part of the uh, upcoming Millrat season. As a St. John business, we believe, just like the Millrats, in building something special right now. Uh, and I would like to encourage all the fans and all the citizens of St. John to support the team, go down to see the games, buy some tickets, and cheer the team on, cheer these guys on, so that we can have that championship win that we all desire. Thank you very much. Uh, I'd like to invite the uh, commissioner up at this time to say a few words. Commissioner.
Uh, we're, just, we're just so excited of what's going on here in, in St. John. Um, this is our fifth year. Uh, we've, been in, we've, we've had over a million fans in the first five years, in the first four years. Uh, this year we expect to have over 500,000 people watch our games live streamed on YouTube. This league is here to stay. It's growing at a really great pace. We'll have the most number of fans in the history of our league this season. And it's just exciting to be here, to, to see the energy that's been generated this summer from all the things that our, our teams have done and our owners have done. It's just exciting, and, I, and I'm just blessed to be a part of that. So well, you're going to have a great year. Thank you for having us. Thank you, Commissioner. Uh, in conclusion, I want to thank everybody for coming out. Uh, hang around for a little while after. The uh, player, Jimmy and Marlon, are going to be around. The commissioner will be around. Ian will be around. Coach Spawn will be around. I'll be around. Of course, nobody wants to talk to me. But one other, one other point I'd like to bring up. Uh, we will have a, we do have a booth be set up at Rhoda's Christmas Market at Harbor Station uh, this starting today. Friday through to Sunday, uh, we invite people to drop by, chat with uh, our, in, our personnel who will be there, take an opportunity to get your tickets, your packages for Christmas, or for gifts, for, your, for yourself, or for your friends, for family. They'll be available at our booth, so we invite you to drop down there. Uh, as I said, uh, thank you for coming out. Hang around after if you wish to chat with somebody, and we look forward to seeing you at Harvest Station when we get our season going. Thank you for coming.